Hello and welcome back. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you a technique in Photoshop that I like to call the motion blur effect. Um, you've, you've seen it in a lot of places on movie posters, most, um, mo most prominently probably in maybe action movies. Uh, I know um, I've seen it in, in some of the Bourne movie posters. Um, I'm going to go ahead and just go ahead and get started. The first thing that you want to do is uh, make a copy of your background layer. And uh, you can do that by pressing Control J on your keyboard, or you can drag your, your layer down into the uh, new layer button on your layers palette. I'll press Control J. So now I have this layer one here. The first thing that you want to do with uh, that new layer selected is go up and uh, <clears throat> go to Filter, down to Blur, and to Motion Blur. I have my motion blur settings set to a negative 8 degree angle and uh, <coughs> 300 pixels. You can certainly uh, play around with those settings. If you change the angle, it, you can just see it changes exactly that, the angle of the blur. And if you change the distance, it just changes the amount of the blur. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and leave mine at 300 and a negative 9 angle. I'll press OK. The next thing that you want to do is go down on your layers palette and add a layer mask. And that's, you just click this add layer mask button. And with your layer mask button selected, select your eraser tool. And go up to the top here and make sure that your eraser is set to a hardness of zero. And I have the size set to two, 250 pixels. But you want it to be about this big in comparison to your picture. Because this is what we're going to do. We're going to click and we're going to just erase back the main core of the picture and maybe a little bit of the edge of the, the object here. But you want to be careful that you don't erase back too much of the object like I just did there, because you want it to be distorted. Okay, I think I'm going to go ahead and, and I'll stick with that for now. Uh, and you could be done at this point. Uh, this this has uh, been, been changed quite a bit from what you started from. I'll just show you. This is what we started with, and this is what we have right now. However, this isn't what you see in the movie poster, so I'm going to go ahead and show you that. Uh, the, the, what I want you to do now is, uh, with your layer 1 selected, go down and add an adjustment layer. There's a, an adjustment layer button on your layers palette at the bottom. And we're going to create a hue and saturation adjustment layer. So select hue and saturation in your adjustment layer there and select colorize and I want you to choose any color you want really but uh, the ones that I've seen are kind of a, a greenish blue so I'm going to choose something kind of like that I'm going to go ahead and desaturate it a little bit maybe to 20 or a little less 18 and I'm going to make it a little bit darker just to give it a sort of a the, the dark feel of the poster once again you could be done at this stage but I like to do one more thing <coughs> I, will, I want to add a new layer, and I want it to be on top of everything else. You can rename it Noise if you want to, or Nose, as I just have. I'm going to just leave it. Okay, uh, with the new layer selected, go ahead and select your Paint Bucket tool from your layers pal uh, your tool, your tool palette, and uh, select put black as your top color there, and, uh, and fill that layer with black. <coughs> then go up to Filter down to noise and add noise. I'm adding about 127. You could add 130 percent of noise to your picture. I have it set to Gaussian. You could set it to uniform. Either one's pretty good. Actually, I'm going to go ahead and leave it on uniform. And I do like the monochromatic um, just so that I don't add extra color to the picture. Uh, press OK. With, uh, with that layer selected, go up to your, your blend mode settings and change it to screen. And now you can see that you can see the picture through the noise, but there's way too much noise. So I'm going to take it down to 10%, and that just adds the effect that I want pretty much to the picture. And you can toggle that on and off with your little eyeball there, and you can see the difference that it makes. Here's with it off, and here's with it on. And now I am done with the tutorial. Uh, I'll show you what I started with once again. That's the image I started with. That's the image that I ended with. You can certainly add this sort of thing to a poster that you're working on or you can make this a poster in itself you can uh, you can do a lot of different things just be creative and do whatever you want 
I hope you found this tutorial helpful. I hope you learned something. If you did and you're watching this on YouTube, please click the like button down below. It really helps. And uh, please visit my blog. It's Glaze Folio Design Blog. Um, <clears throat> there will be a link in the description area in the YouTube. And uh, please follow me on Facebook and Twitter. And thank you very much.